Mitsubishi claims it coined the term crossover with its original ASX concept back in 2001. That car actually went on to become the Outlander. And now we have the all new Outlander. Mitsubishi claims this car offers improved practicality, comfort, luxury, economy and style over its predecessor. So then, what do you think about this new look? I reckon it's definitely classier than the old car. And that should help broaden the Outlander's appeal to a whole new range of buyers. And it's still got that tough Mitsubishi design that you'd expect from the brand, and that should mean that it should please existing customers as well. Here in the back, there's plenty of room for adults. You can slide the seats individually and also recline them, which is what I've done now. And then it's, it's very comfortable, actually. I've got to get on with this piece, haven't I? You can also fold down the seats like that and as you can see they lie completely flat which boosts practicality and back there there's two chairs for children. Mitsubishi has really tried to increase the quality of this car's cabin. There's lots of soft touch materials about the place and it does feel more upmarket than its predecessor. There's also a whole host of really useful safety equipment such as lane departure warning, you've got wide beam xenon headlamps. There's also cruise control which keeps you a safe distance from the cars in front even in slow moving traffic. There's also an auto brake function to stop you having a rear end collision. The new Outlander goes on sale at the end of the year priced from around £25,000. You'll be able to get it as a front wheel drive only model or also a all wheel drive version. There'll be a six speed manual and a six speed automatic gearbox and there's a choice of two engines, a two litre petrol and a 2.2 litre diesel which emits under 130 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide. Now that is pretty impressive but what's more impressive is you'll be able to get a plug-in hybrid version of this car which emits less than 50 grams per kilometre of carbon dioxide which quite frankly is pretty amazing.